They fucking press heavy duty charges on you one night, Theo Vaughn. I got so fucked up in an airport. I had 12 ounces of blow on me. And what? I was coming from New Jersey. No. Do people story. from New Jersey get busted for coke more often than other I people? You I think? don't fucking know. I I was a fucking criminal, and I was <laughs> I was living in I was living in Aspen, and coke was eighteen hundred and eighteen hundred an ounce. Right. And I'm like, are you fucking people kidding me? I'm paying eight hundred, and they're fucking beautiful ounces, and I can cut it and still make money. I go fuck it. So I started getting guns and bringing them to the East Coast and started bringing coke back. But this was the problem that I would take the one o'clock flight from uh, New Jersey to Denver, and that's really 3 o'clock, which would get me in there like at 7, mm -hmm. and it would start snowing. I still had to take a connecting flight from Denver to Aspen. Uh, that flight would always get canceled. Here I am in Denver Airport with geeked. 12 ounces of blow, geeked out of my face at the fucking bar. I remember one night I was at the bar just okay. drinking, fucking doing lines in the bathroom, and I kept putting the Coke in a locker. And I kept spending all my money in quarters taking the coke out. And I became friends with a guy at a bar. Me and him started snorting. We got fucking lit at 6 a.m. I stayed in the airport all night getting fucking Fuck. coked up, jerking off in the men's store, oh. in the fucking bathroom. That is dark and that awesome. That is fucking, yeah, yeah. It's Dude, dark that's with. the dark side. Oh, my God. That's the worst, bro. When you're just up with your fucking ideas, feeling your fucking pulse. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lee Syed? It's been a week without an edible. I know. I'm just glad and I never did you're back from out of space. I don't know if you guys know. I'm pretty high, man. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. We yeah. don't fuck around. Oh, yeah. Theo Vaughn, my boy joined jujitsu two did? months ago, three months ago, and yep. he did his first fucking tournament. I've been going to jiu-jitsu for two <laughs> like, fucking really? years, and I'm still scared of going to the tournament. Lee went Saturday. It's, it's so much more fun than he practice. He took third fucking place. No way. Well, out of three people. So. <laughs> <laughs> still, bro. That's still, Look, bro. You know what place I took? No fucking place. Yeah, right? I, didn't, I wasn't that's there. True. I was walking around the fucking Central Park with ducks, <laughs> and there you are fucking choking motherfuckers. My heart goes out to you, bro. You're a bad motherfucker. Yeah, it's commendable, bro. You could have fucking commendable, bro. You could end up in fourth place, right? You could have got disqualified. You could have showed up. I, yeah. I, I was, I, I, I had a little bit of a like I have bronchitis right now, so I wanted to quit, but I knew if I didn't do it, you, John Budd, and everyone would kill me. So I'll just go. No, nah, we wouldn't how. have killed you. I understand. <laughs> what was no, the match like? I Talk wanted, about the match. I wanted to see you play out the hand, Lee. I see. I'm not. I was. I was never scared of it. Like, like I've, I've said, I've wrestled in high school. It was never good, but I knew I wasn't gonna like physically die or occasionally no, no, someone no. breaks an arm or something but that's not even the end of the world um it really i've been losing weight for the past couple of years and it really kicked it into gear that i need to finish losing the weight because i was rest i was because it was a smaller tournament i'm 228 right now i was right. going against people who were like 290 280 so it was i it wasn't it wasn't an ideal situation for me were you pretty like were you pretty like did you smoke first? No, oh God! People ask me that, man. I, I can't imagine I don't doing smoke that high before jujitsu. It makes her <laughs> <laughs> really. When Javier was choking me that night, and I was stoned out of my mind, I was like, "Are you?" I was like, "I just it's, had to it's laugh." It's a different world, is it? Oh, could you, you be high and do it? No, I tried a couple times. I almost had heart attacks. <laughs> oh, damn! Because when you start breathing heavy, your mind oh, takes you away. Yeah. So you know, like when you're on an edible and you breathe heavy, like when you're like when I go to jujitsu this morning, I was breathing heavy, like yeah, I was yeah. having a hard time. Yeah, they used to. Yeah. So if I would have done an edible, the edible takes your mind away, and all of a sudden your mind, the edible tells your mind you're about to have a heart attack, and your fucking heart starts pounding just from listening to your mind. Oh, damn, it's not mind, even true. It's sometimes fiction. just here, I'll start having like a little bit of a, a little panic attack. Little palpitation, like really? sometimes. Yeah. yeah, the edibles. Let me tell you some edibles. Don't aren't copacetic for everybody, man. They create a lot of anxiety. A lot of people say, you know, I've been, I like smoking pot, but it, for me, it gives me anxiety. Yeah, that's not good for you. It's not good for you at all. If you get that uncomfortable feeling, there's times we eat fucking eight thousand milligrams of edibles, and it's an uncomfortable feeling. You yeah. go through an hour of like, Jesus Christ, this is terrible. I feel I'm pretty uncomfortable right now. I feel pretty high. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Because no. I don't ever smoke, so I feel fucking. When did you start comedy? Pretty high, high, man. You've been around in LA for like ten years, right? Yeah, so I started like twelve, thirteen years ago. Okay, because I know you were in LA. You were really young, like two thousand five. You were doing something. I was young, man. Do you ever miss the weight? Do you ever miss the weight, bro? 
I miss eating what I want to eat. Yeah. I miss, like, I didn't care. Like, how much would you all. eat? Would you just eat the fuck out of something? Oh, sometimes? yeah. Oh, that I sounds worked, nice, man. I worked. Really? Yeah, just fucking get whatever you want. Oh, just it's fucking great. put it in your mouth. It's like, even football, like, it's depressing for me. I don't watch football. Like, I used to watch football all day, and I would get a large pizza and 12 wings. Fucking six Diet Cokes. Oh, wow. Just great. Just and not even worry about it. it. Just not even worrying about it at all. Did you ever sleep on a fucking like piece of crust or something? Like you were just eating like a <laughs> fucking monster. Not not normally. Like we used to do this podcast at 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. And I would work what? nights. Yeah, we used to, we did it for like a year for like at 6 a.m. at 6 a.m. And I was working nights on a TV show. So I'd go from there to here and then I would like it'd be like 8 in the morning and I'd be getting jack in the box damn and like sometimes I'd just pass out from it was, eating it well no just from all these things but then I'd pass out but like the the rappers would still <laughs> oh, be on okay. my couch or something it's terrible oh okay cause um, I never, you never hear like people's like fucking eating stories everybody tells their weight loss story like I want to hear oh, I when you was just oh Fucking hiding chocolate in your fucking cheeks, man. When you're just filling your gills up. I used to go. I, I got. I got. Up, I got up to three fifteen. That was the highest I ever got. Yeah. It, at a certain point, I was every every night getting two packages of Reese sticks and two either uh, Swedish fish or gummy bears. And Reese in my, in my, sticks. Yeah. Oh, those are the best. Are they good? Those are still the best. Yeah. I can't have them. <laughs> I can't have them. But those are the best. And then uh, either uh, Swedish story. fish or gummy bears. Yeah, and just having, and I would tell myself I would have the other, I would have two of each the next day, but it, it would never happen. Wow! So and I eat them all, huh? I miss that. Now I have, now I have a fudgicle, and it's depressing, but oh, it still tastes, yeah. it still tastes good, but it's not. It covers the spread, yeah. but it ain't what you really fucking want. <laughs> so, That's the worst. Now you grew up where? New uh, Louisiana. How far from New Orleans? A suburb? About 40 miles, yeah, 45 miles. So your family's eaters? Yeah, my family's like, we didn't eat a bunch of food, but we ate as much as we had, pretty much. Like, I mean, I've had three experiences in New Orleans. Yeah. And one outside of New Orleans. And all my experiences have always been around food. It's yeah. a very food culture. It's People love to eat. It's a foodie culture. And depending where the fuck you go, you know, they'll hit you with some alligator. Shrimp po' boys. Shrimp yeah. po' boys, oh. like a motherfucker, you know. Oh, they'll fucking When I went to shoot a uh, grudge match, we shot that in New mm-hmm. Orleans. But, you know, I was low man on the totem pole, and they put me in a hotel where... They give you all the meals are inclusive. Yeah. And at first, I was like, I'm not gonna fucking eat in no fucking hotel. Oh my god. The hotel food was good. Every fucking meal was world class, and it was wow. all like a seven course. Yeah.